Okay, we're making tomatillo salsa. This is a classic sauce. Everybody loves it and it can be used in so many different ways. You can add it to the soy curls and create a enchilada dish. You can also use it as a dipping sauce. You can use it for eggs. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. The jalapeno is optional. I really like it. And what I usually do is I taste it before I add it to the sauce because a lot of times it's super spicy and sometimes it's not spicy at all. So I like to taste it before I add it. You can cut the onions into any shape you want. You're gonna roast them so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. And I like to separate them a little bit so that way they cook more evenly. I find this makes a big difference. Okay, so we're gonna roast the tomatillos, the onions, the jalapenos, if you choose to use them, and of course, some garlic. So I'm gonna add two big handfuls here for the, dem for the demonstration. Just add a little bit of salt to it. Then just a little bit of oil, just to coat them lightly. Rub that in really good. Mix it together. And then you're gonna go in the oven. at 400 degrees for about nine minutes, 10 minutes. Let's go with 10. Just keep an eye on it. And it's looking really good. We got just a few seconds left. We're gonna pull them out and then we're gonna let them rest. It is very, very important that you don't make the sauce right away. When they're hot, you want to cool down the tomatillos. Otherwise, this sauce will go bad faster. Once the tomatillos have cooled down all the way, you're gonna take your cilantro, you're gonna chop it up into little pieces. You don't have to be very precise at this point because this will go in the blender or it will be processed using a burr mixer. At this point, we're gonna mix all the ingredients together. So we have some lime juice. And we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients that were roasted and have cooled down all the way. Now this burr mixer is also a great air guitar if you're into that kind of stuff. But today we're gonna use the blender. It makes a lot more sense because I'm processing a very small batch. So there's no need for the big guns. Vitamix is great. Most kitchens have one. If you don't have a Vitamix, but you have something else, that'll work just fine. Add it all in. Blend it up until smooth. Taste it, of course. You always want to make sure that it's seasoned properly at the very end before you serve it. And if you like it and it's good, then you're ready to store it, put it away, and you can use it on multiple things throughout the week.